Hi guys, um, recently I'm sure all of you have heard people have been talking a lot about carpooling and so on so Lyft has their own implementation and some, this gentleman called Timothy Brown he has written about this in, an, in this post on Medium found this to be a very interesting read uh, it, it pretty much speaks about how they choose which passenger to pick up first which passenger to drop off and so on they've spoken about overlaps so if let's say you have passengers a and b so a case of no overlap would be if you pick up a drop off a pick up b drop off b and that they found wasn't very useful so you get rid of all the overlaps and yeah so and they use this this tech, um, this thing called haversine so the haversine formula essentially gives you the distance between two points two coordinates latitudes and longitudes on a map so it's a very fast approach and I'll, I'll show you a little bit over here so I, I did my own implementation so I modeled passengers and drivers and so on that you can see over here I'll, I'll, I'll include a link to a github repository at the bottom that will actually contain a very detailed a detailed information about what I'm doing and why let's just run it on some random data so these these the data points are completely random over here so um, let's uh, we had four passengers rather two passengers so a and i'm just calling them a and b over here you'll be able to see that in the code if you're interested so over here we decided that passenger two was to be picked up first then passenger one would be picked up picked up then passenger one is dropped off and passenger two is dropped off and one key thing i thought would be more, very important because sure um I, I, i'm not entirely sure about this but let's say now if a driver gets to accept a passenger in the future when you probably will have driverless cars you probably want the journey that starts from the transporter the driver actually accepting a trip to the point where the last passenger is dropped off you want this distance to be minimized distance or and or time so that's the implementation i followed and if you take a look at the code you'll also see just go to this journey method that i have over here so I have actually included the provision for drivers. Oh wait, sorry, that wasn't in the journey method, but it's in this thing called the matchmaker. So if, let's say you can have five or six drivers in a region, but depending on where they are located on the map, you'd probably pick one driver to be the most optimal. So if you, it's inside this method. So it's essentially I'm computing the distances for each of the drivers in my region for my example over here my pool of drivers is only one driver and my passengers there are two passengers so here we found the, apparently this is the optimal route um i couldn't really manage to i didn't really try very hard but i couldn't it, it seemed a little time consuming to get google maps to work with java and i'd rather figure that i'd just plot this on google maps and see how it goes so this is where the driver was when the request was processed Go to Google Maps. Let's just put the first point, and the next stop. This is this point is essentially where our first passenger was. Passenger two. This is his pickup location. I had this. Then after that, we'll just add a couple more points over here. Then this is where passenger one gets picked up. We'll put that in. Why does this thing not show up? Want to add some more points? There we go. Then passenger one gets dropped off here. And then we have this location where passenger two gets dropped off. Just add that. So this is our entire trip over here. This was where passenger, uh, this is where the driver was at the, uh, at the beginning. And that's the entire route that we have over here with the last passenger getting dropped off there. So we over here, it, apparently it's taking 5318 seconds for the entire entire journey to complete. And yeah, that's about it. So essentially, this is the concept of carpooling, where <clears throat> if you read the Lyft article, I'll, I'll include a link to that at the bottom of this YouTube video also. So over here, they speak about having a one minute pool so essentially um if it's 8 1 p.m right now 8 1 p.m 50 50 seconds let's say a passenger wants a ride right now and there's another passenger that requests a ride at 8 to 1 and 59 seconds so both of them are going to the same pool and at the end of this pool everyone just gets matched to the most optimal driver and yeah uh, i'll also include 
uh, so over here my demonstration it, it showed the google maps api i'll also include the same data with the haversign using the haversign formula you'll find that it's not very different just that the google maps uh, i've used the direction apis over here so the haversign essentially gives you a straight line between two points which is as the crow flies instead the um, google maps api that i've used over here you're actually taking the roads so it's it's a more accurate representation but it takes a little longer so you'll have to weigh the pros and cons and yeah whichever is better go for that yeah that's about it please if you have any questions comments please uh, let me know uh, thanks for watching